Ustate, Freder Sasha here. I'm going to be reading from Original Magic, The Rituals and Initiations of the Persian Magi by Stephen Edric Flowers, PhD. The Keshvars. In the cosmological book called the Bundahishan XI, we read the following about the Keshvars. 1. On the nature of the earth, it says in Revelation that there are 30 and 3 kinds of land. 2. On the day when Tishtar produced rain, when its seas rose, therefrom the whole place half taken up by water was covered into seven portions, this portion, Kavarnas, as much as one half is in the middle, and six portions are around, those six portions are together as much as Kavarnas. <clears throat> Three, the name Keshvar, zone or region, is also applied to them, and they existed side by side as on the east side, of this portion in the saw region of the west is the arza region the two portions on the south side are the fradarosh and the vidarosh regions the two portions on the north side are the vorbarst and the vorgarst regions that in the middle is the kavarnas four and Kavra Rashis, the sea, for one part of the wide formed ocean, wound about around it, and from Vorbarst and Vodagarst, a lofty mountain grew up, so that it is not possible for anyone to go from region to region except with the permission of the Azatos. <clears throat> the names of the Kesfars really only indicate their positions. East west, southeast, southwest, northeast, northwest. The earth and the terrestrial world are envisioned as being in the middle and are seen as a place of high value, a zone where heroic action is possible and from there conveyed to the other regions. On one mythic level, the Keshvar's lands or zones are seen as quasi-locations of the terrestrial realm. But clearly they constitute a cosmic sheen beyond what we normally think of as the material planet or universe. Figure 3.1, page 52, which you'll see over here off to the side if you look more closely, has to be imagined in the three dimensions. There is a south-north vertical axis, with the south above and the north below. The axis is crossed by an east-west horizontal one. The Keshvars on the cross quarters south east, southwest, and northeast, and northwest are to be envisioned as if they are on a disk, on a slant, and tilt. All of this is within the environs of the planet Earth and really portrays a system of dimensions beyond what we usually think of as space. Yet the mythic partigum makes use of spatial symbolism for its expression. Beyond this realm are the spheres of the planets, and beyond them the starry vault of heaven. This image is just one of the way of trying to convey the idea that these realms really exist in other dimensions of space-time. Knowledge concerning this esoteric doctrine is derived from the Manual of Shnum. It is noteworthy that this model of the universe is in so many ways similar to the Agdrasil model drawn from Nordic world. It is likely that they share a common root. Conceptually, one of the most difficult things to visualize is the South Pole is the way up in the North Pole is the way down. This is because we in the Northern Hemisphere have come to orient our maps to the North Pole going back into prehistory. However, the North must have been considered the downward path as well because our Germanic word North is etymologically connected to the concept of under and also leftward. This also indicates that the most ancient orientation was indeed to the east, with the north on the left and the south on the right. In general, 
here we have the image of the supernal realm beyond the stars under which is the vault of the starry sky below which is the solar system of the planets in a series of concentric circles our immediate world is complex with a series of lands kesfars above and surrounding the terrestrial realm cosmology is important to practicing magicians because it represents a map of the realm in which they operate one needs to know where one stands in order to map development goals at the highest levels. The single most important aspect of cosmology for the system of magic taught in this book is that of astrology. The sphere of the starry sky is divided into 360 segments or degrees, divided into 12 sets or houses of 30 degrees each. These originally corresponded to the months of the Avestan calendar, which is the most potent system of time reckoning for magicians in this calendar the months correspond as closely as possible with the passage of the sun through the zodiacal signs days are strategically added to certain months to keep the beginning of the months in sync with the solar transitions the big picture is one of the magicians surrounded by a great cosmic circle in the vault of heaven marked by 360 divisions each corresponding to the yazital with a wall mandatory makes a link in order to affect acts of magic. In the practice of magic, these day degree correspondences are important to the timing of the magical acts relating to the qualities of the days ruled by certain Yazatas, as well as the systematic training involved in the process of magical initiation during the twelve month curriculum. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell to get further updates on my videos. Uh, share my videos as well if you support my channel. And uh, thanks again for watching.